What is going on guys, Newton here with the Mo Play bring me a first look and impressions video into the new Diablo 3 expansion, Reaper of Souls. Now I'm excited to bring you guys this video today because I picked up this expansion a few days after it came out and I am extremely impressed and I am loving it. I mean, this is great. If you guys are Diablo fans or fans of hack and slash styled RPGs, I mean, I strongly recommend you guys go pick this up. But um, what we're going to do today is basically I'm going to go over and show you the new class that this has to offer and lots of the different material that is offered in this expansion. Now, first thing right off the bat is there's a new class, a new playable class called a Crusader. Cur kind of reminds me of a Paladin. Uh, really cool. Has lots of different hammer skills, holy skills, a um, bunch of other really, really cool things. You can see a little preview over here. Uh, they're a really cool class, extremely fun to play. Uh, they're really more of a tank-orientated class. Uh, they don't deal much damage uh, right off the bat, but the tank, more tankier you build them, if that makes sense, the stronger they will hit. So it's a little weird, but like it, it works later on in the game. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to hop into Adventure Mode, which is a new mode that is introduced in this expansion, which makes the game fantastic. And I'm going to be playing on my main character, my monk, and I'm going to hop in with a friend. And he's going to be showing off a little bit of the Crusader skills. So just want to show you guys the character creation, and I will see you in Adventure Mode. Alright guys, here we are. We have just hopped right into Adventure Mode. And basically what we're going to do is run around and kind of show you off where this game really shines now. Now Diablo 1, lots of people had complaints because of the cash shop, and uh, just it wasn't the game it should have been. I believe with this expansion, they implemented a ton of stuff, and this game really feels like a full game now. So what's new about it? Well, there's a new act, which means an extension onto the story. So if you guys pick up the game, instead of fighting Diablo, there's a boss right after it. You get to fight the Angel of Death. And there's a story that goes along with it. And it's really nice. I've enjoyed the story. As long as the new act to explore with tons of new bosses, a new town. There's a new main town. As you can see, I'm running around here. I kind of want to go over and show you guys a little bit. Uh, there's a new transmogging system. So if you guys are familiar with World of Warcraft, if you like a piece of gear and you want it to look like a different piece of gear, you could do that. So you can see I'll open this. You can see uh, he's showing off a little bit of his Crusader skills. Uh, but you can see I got my gear here, and I can change it to look like however I want. So I'll kind of show you an overview of what my monk looks like. This is my main class. I'm going to show you guys some of the new skills, some of the new armor sets uh, for not just the Crusader, but for other classes as well. So that's why I'm bringing you the monk, and my friend will be playing the Crusader. So you can see my guy looks pretty cool. I dyed it all red. I like how it looks. I think the new gear sets are really great. I love the transmog system. I think it's a great system. It works really well in the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to run bounties. Now, bounties are basically, it gives a lot of end level replayability to the game. Now, other than just Paragon leveling, you can run bounties for other rewards and so on. So once you've beaten Act 5, which I have done, you can go ahead and hop into adventure mode, which is this. We're going to go ahead and open up the map, and you'll see different exclamation points all along the map, which is basically quests. So there's different quests and different objectives to do. Most of the time, it's to go to the map, kill a certain amount of enemies, and clear the boss out. So what we're going to go do is we're going to go ahead and click one of the uh, different bounties on the map, and we're going to go do it and kind of show you guys how it works a little bit. And once you complete it, you get some money, XP, and once you complete all the bounties in each act, you get re well, you get greater rewards. And then after that, you can get um, keys, and you can go run rifts, which is basically really long dungeons with harder bosses and greater rewards. Alright, so here we are, we're running around Act 5. I wanted to show off Act 5, for so for those of you who are Diablo fans and haven't really looked into Reapers of Souls yet, You've probably already seen the previous axe, and we're gonna run around and show out the new axe. Uh, you guys see, we got a we got a boss over here, and we're running it on a fairly easy difficulty, so there's not too much challenges. So we can kind of really show off a lot of our skills. So here we are. We're just running around. We're gonna go clear this. You can see we got our objectives over here. We gotta kill 100 enemies and that boss. That boss is right there. Did not take too much to kill because uh, we have pretty high DPS. We have grinded out this um, adventure mode pretty. Uh, for a good amount of time so we are pretty fairly geared and uh pretty far into end levels probably gonna be starting new characters soon and uh just kind of trying those out and testing out new builds and stuff like that with our other characters but this is basically our best characters we got here and we're gonna show them off so there's another elite monster over there we're gonna dash out of there make sure we don't get hit and he's like the boss oh there's the boss there we go as you can see they've got giant explosions and stuff like that 
being dealt by the, my Crusader friend over here. Crusaders have some really great skills. I mean, really, really flashy. Um, just a lot, a ton of fun. Uh, they are very tanky, but I mean, let me tell you guys, once you get them built, they can dish out damage and they can survive on top of that. So, we're going to go ahead and continue. we got to kill a couple more enemies. It will go ahead and uh, complete a few more bounties on the map and kind of show you how more of how that works. And uh, this, is, this is a really great system. I really enjoy it because, um, like I said, it makes the game feel completed compared to what the original Diablo was. It feels like um, a lot of people like uh, Path of Exile and stuff like that. I feel like with this new expansion, it really competes with Path of Exile now. It makes the game feel much, much better. Much more smoother, drops are way better, you don't have to grind for days to find a drop that doesn't have random stats on it. That doesn't really apply to your class. Everything that drops is relatively useful for your class, which is really nice. So we're going to go ahead and quickly pick these up. And we're going to still grind through, we got to kill all these minions, which we should have no problem doing. So we are just dealing a ton of damage, there we go. Got more explosions dealt by our crusader over here. So we're going to keep running around, killing these. And another cool thing is uh, there's new skills too, new passives and stuff. As you can see, there's uh, there's three passives now. There's four. They introduce uh, higher level passives and uh, new stuff for your class. So there's even more customization and more builds you can test around with different classes and stuff like that. So it really brings a new experience to lots of the old classes as well. It's not just uh, like if you guys have played. Before, you played a wizard, you got Paragon level 100 before, which is maxed out, and you got the best build. Now there's different ways to build the class. You can see, he's swinging around hammers over here. It's really cool. Lots of cool skills with the Crusader. But yeah, there's lots of different ways to build the classes now, which I really enjoy. It brings a new experience to uh, the old classes, which is nice. So, let's see. We gotta kill a few more enemies. Where have we not gone yet? Hmm. Oh, we haven't gone over here. All right. We're gonna go ahead and run over here. We're gonna complete this. Tell him that's the wrong way. And we gotta go over here. Oh, there we go. We got another elite monster over here. We're gonna take him out really quick. We deal a good sum of damage. Uh, not a lot as I've seen from some other people, because a lot of people have gotten pretty lucky, lucky and really grinded out this game a lot more than I have. But I've invested a good deal of time to it, and I'm really liking it. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, you do have to f buy the first Diablo if you choose to play this game and then you have to buy the expansion to get the crusader and the adventure mode like i'm showing off right now so it will cost you a little bit of money uh i believe they're having a deal right now for sixty dollars you can get all of it for sixty dollars uh which is the first game and the expansion or if you choose to buy them separately it'll be forty dollars for the first diablo and forty dollars for the expansion and sixty or seventy whether for the collector edition whether you buy it online or a physical copy of it but if you guys are really into these types of games, I strongly suggest you guys pick this one up. This one is really worth the while. Alright, so we have almost completed the 100 monsters. I'm going to go ahead and take them out real quick. Now, uh, I'm contemplating whether I want to show you guys the um, the final boss. I know that's covered quite a bit. It's actually um, some of the first stuff people cover with the game. They want to see the final boss fight. They really want to show it off. So, I guess I will show you guys the final boss fight as well if I can get to it within time. Uh, if it's one of the bounties, I'll show it off. If not, um, I'll kind of just show you off more of the other monsters and bosses in the game. But uh, the no the final boss fight is uh, it's, it's fairly um, it's fairly standard boss fight. It has uh, some different mechanics than Diablo did. Uh, Diablo is really fun. It was a good three part fight, and uh, the second boss or the last boss of the new act is a two part fight. And it has some pretty good mechanics. It can be very difficult the higher difficulty you do it on. And uh, it can get really challenging, but also very rewarding if uh, the higher difficulty you run it on. The the drop for it can be really, really great. So, alright guys, we have completed this bounty. And we're going to teleport over to another one. Let's see, there's a boss over here. So we're going to go ahead and teleport to that one. I'm going to go ahead and let him know. That we're going to do bounty 3. So I can show you off one of the bosses. I think the last boss will take a little while, so... I'll just show you um, one of these bosses over here. We'll just go ahead and wait for him to come and join us. Get these buffs around the map. We're going to go ahead and kill some more enemies. And we're just going to keep running around trying to make some good time and uh, kill the bosses. So now we're just going to run around. As we go. He's over there on the map. And we got to find this boss to kill. 
so another good part about this game is um uh, like I said, the drop rate, the drop rates for items and stuff like that, and the stats for items are much, much better than they were in the original Diablo, which makes uh, the grinding in the game not feel tedious at times. It's really great. It's really rewarding the longer you grind out. So, like, the better stats and gears you get, the harder difficulty you can get, and the better items that you will obtain from it. So it's really rewarding. The game feels really rewarding the more time you put into it. And you can, um, you can even, um acquire items for other classes and stuff like that so if you guys want to say i'm building a monk now and say i want to build a wizard uh i can find some really good maze drops and hold on to them but uh the only downfall is well it's a downfall and it's a plus they got rid of the auction house uh some people enjoyed it but it did take away from uh the real whole point of the game which is grind to get cool gear so they made lots of legendary items once you obtain them they are now bound to your account, so you cannot trade them between friends and stuff like that, which would kind of, like, make up for the action house. Ooh, we got a treasure. Pick me over here and take him out. When you guys defeat these guys, they usually drop some pretty good stuff, so let's not get let him get away. As you can see, he dropped a good amount of stuff over here. So there we go. We're going to kind of keep running through here, and we're going to keep searching for this boss. Let's see if we can find him. We're going to rush through this and see if we can find this boss, kind of not get, um time wasted for uh, all these minions let's see he's probably over here let's see if we can dash through and avoid all these minions oh yep he's down over there so we need to find our way over there we're just gonna completely obliterate all these enemies over here take out these guys we got some more stuff going on over here and they seem to be slowing us down so I guess we're gonna have to fight them which is not a problem let's see we take them out real quick up a little bit of a fight they are blue monsters so they do have a little bit more health and some more skills which makes them a little bit more of a challenge but like i said our dps is pretty good and we're running on a fairly um easier difficulty so we can show off more of the game with ease and i think this is the boss that we have to defeat so we're gonna go ahead and fight these guys and take him out and complete the next bounty so there we go did we take him out oh nope he's somewhere over here that was just another random boss we had to fight so he's over there so we gotta make our way so here we go. We are almost there. Work on our way, and let's go see. There's probably going to be tons of blue monsters and other things you have to fight. So there we go. When the, you get to close to the bosses, um, usually there will be a lot of elite monsters around it, making boss fights a little bit more difficult, which is fun. It's really cool. It makes uh, boss fights not uh, not too easy, and they get challenging. Like I said, the higher the difficulty you go up, the, I mean, the difficulty increase goes up um, quite a bit from... Uh, normal to torment and then torment one through six okay so we're gonna be showing off this boss this is one of the main bosses you fight in act five he's a really cool boss has lots of cool mechanics and uh, i really love like how he looks the farther you get the more uh, big and beefy he starts to look which is really awesome and he has his cannon and he starts shooting fire everywhere so you can imagine running this on a harder difficulty it can get pretty crazy at times so there we go he's kind of like beefing up a little bit kind of like going super saiyan in his own cert, uh, his own way so we gotta avoid these uh, cannons and all the fire around it so the boss fight this boss fight is pretty crazy I've enjoyed it there hasn't been a boss fight I've not enjoyed in the new act so far so we gotta go ahead and keep trying to take this guy out he's almost dead and there we go we just obliterated him so you can see we got the bounty complete we got experience we got money for it we got some key fragments to run some rifts which is just longer dungeons but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.